2D animation is an ever-branching domain with many subspecialties, from motion graphics to frame-by-frame -frame animation. This is reflected in the number of animation software that cater to different specialties. A software can work for motion graphics, but lacks the features for frame-by-frame -frame animation, and vice versa. For this reason, it might be difficult to find the software appropriate for you. After all, nobody wants to spend countless hours learning about a software only for it to end up not catering to their needs. In our video today, we're going to explore just that by contrasting two of the most popular 2D animation software out there. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start off simple by looking at the two software in a general light. If you used to play games on your computer back in the day, they were probably made in Flash. Wait a minute, what does that have to do with Adobe Animate? Well, Adobe actually repurposed Flash for it to become Adobe Animate. So Flash didn't die after all, it just got a new personality. Okay, what is Adobe Animate all about? Animate is a vector drawing and animation software that can be used on a number of projects, from game development to infographics, websites, and even cartoons. The software is available on Windows, Mac OS, and iPad OS. As every other Adobe product, Animate is purchased through a subscription. You can either subscribe to the entire Creative Cloud for $29.99 US dollars a month for an annual plan, or get Animate on its own for $20.99 US dollars a month for an annual plan. TV Paint is a 2D animation software that was once known as Mutech Aura. The software is developed by TV Paint Développement SARL. It's available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and Amiga OS. The shtick of TV Paint is that it's focused on merging traditional, as in frame-by-frame -frame animation, and technology in order to give the animation an art house feel, but by using efficient technology that helps artists achieve more with less effort. Unlike Animate, TV Paint can be owned with the purchase of a perpetual license. The software offers many plans. For instance, an independent artist can get the standard edition for 585.5 US dollars and the professional edition for 1463.75 US dollars. There are other plans available for students, teachers, schools, and studios. Keep in mind that these prices are an estimate and can fluctuate depending on the exchange rate, as of 2022, of course. Let's take a look at how each software presents itself to the user. In all of its white and black glory, Adobe Animate first opens with its homepage, presenting you with the different file formats you can open. Once that is open, you're presented with a white canvas at the center. On the top, you have the usual menu bar. On the left side, you have all of your different tools ready to use in the tool panel. And on the right side is where the Properties panel is. It has an extra tab for the library where all of your assets are going to be. There's a tiny sidebar squished behind the Properties panel, which hosts different control panels for different uses, such as Transform, Align, Color, etc. The bottom part is where the timeline is, the home of your animation frames. And that's that for Adobe Animate. While Animate is black, TV Paint is gray. As usual, we have the canvas at the center. On the far top, we have a menu bar. Right underneath the menu bar, we have the quick action bar, which hosts the frequently used actions, such as saving, importing, or creating a new project. You also have undo, redo, and so on and so forth. Some of the icons can show and hide the panels that are on the left side. These panels are called drawers in TV Paint, and the default ones are the main panel, color panel, and the tool panel. The relation between the main panel and the tool panel is dynamic. The tool panel will show you different options depending on what you have selected in the main panel. The right side also has a panel, or a drawer, which has different brushes and other options. The timeline in TV Paint is on the bottom, and the layers are displayed on it on the left side. All the panels are highly and intuitively customizable. You can hide and unhide them, pop them out, and float them or pin them in place. 
Adobe Animate has all your basic animation tools like selection tools, shape tools, fill, erase, frames, keyframes, layers, brushes, onion skinning, symbol conversion, tweening, gradients, effects, morphing, rigging, camera, parallaxing, and so on and so forth. All these tools help you both draw and animate. Instead of focusing on the basics, let's explore some interesting tools and features in the software. For instance, Animate's rigging system has just been made better. A new feature was added called Rig Edit Mode, where you can edit and add rigging without deforming the shape at hand. Another great feature is FlexiBone. FlexiBone is a new type of bone which helps you create bones for non-linear characters' poses easily by using the Bezier tool and tracing over the object we want to add a bone to. The Envelope Deformer is yet another tool in the software which can help you deform an object, thus allowing you to create complex poses with ease, as well as offering you complete control over said pose. Just from this overview of the tools, we can quickly understand that Animate's workflow is all about motion graphics, puppet animation, and generally non-frame-by-frame -frame animation. While frame-by-frame -frame animation is 100% possible with the software, it's not its focus. As we can see, the feature's focus caters to automated animation, so keep this in mind when choosing which software to learn. Aside from the usual pens, buckets, and erasers, TV Paint also has special and interesting tools that make it unique. For instance, TV Paint has a color and textures generator, which helps you make coloring a quick process. Yes, even if you have those pesky unclosed lines here and there. It also generates indexed color libraries and has a layers texture tracking feature. TV Paint offers you the ability to add special effects for a quick and easy way of adding atmosphere to your animation. The software has a number of animatics and layouts, such as using the camera tool in your project to extend your drawing area, create movements and add different zoom levels. You can also add dialogues, import actions and notes, and soundtrack. The wrap tool will help you deform a drawing all you want. This can serve as a great way to fix wonky proportions or a weird face, provided that you know what you're doing. And best yet, TV Paint is known for the wide variety of mesmerizing brushes it has. They can really give your animation that traditional feel. As you can see from the tools, the workflow of the software caters to raster drawing and traditional frame-by-frame -frame animation, a lot more than automated animation, like motion graphics and puppet animation. The software works a lot like an illustration software with the addition of frame-by-frame -frame focused features and tools. If you have yet to touch an Adobe product, Animate will definitely have a steep learning curve. This might be lessened by an experience with other creative digital software, but it would still be a climb nonetheless. What's great about Adobe products is that they are so popular, people make so many tutorials for them. And these tutorials end up being so viral that people make more and more. You can find a plethora of professional-grade tutorials explaining every nook and cranny of the software and for every level. We highly recommend TipTut's tutorial series on the software. If you know nothing about similar illustration and animation software, getting to know the software can be quite difficult, naturally. Thankfully though, the software's YouTube channel has a full-fledged series of tutorials explaining everything in the software beautifully and simply. If you have trouble getting used to the interface, it's entirely customizable. So if you might feel like that would be an issue, don't worry about it too much. When it comes to which software is better, it all comes down to one thing. Are you into traditional frame-by-frame -frame animation? Think Ghibli. Or are you into automated animation? Think motion graphics, explainer videos, puppet animation, and so on and so forth. If the former is your interest, TV Paint is the right software for you. And if the latter, then Adobe Animate is the way to go. It's all about perspective. If you try to make a puppet animation with TV Paint, you're going to struggle and think TV Paint sucks and vice versa. And that's that for our video today. We hope you learned something new and interesting on both software and perhaps decided on which to start learning. Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.